<laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, and I also have seen, so suppose somebody's Venus is the Daraka, uh, so sorry, Amatya Karak, uh, which is signifying professional expertise. So then now suppose the person in Vimshotri is running uh, the Dasha of the third house. That, and maybe the person is into IT career. Then we can, now the person will ask, because the third house will always show IT. Mm -hmm. But in IT, there are like million things. What should the yes. person do? Person do. Okay. Then if I see the Amatya Karak is uh, Venus, especially. Then I tell them that you should go into areas of IT which deals with visuals, like user experience design, this, you know, UI. You know, then uh, you have this, you know, front end web development, all this. How to decorate things, how to make things. Oh, sorry for the interruption. Yeah, so what I was saying uh, that uh, if somebody's uh, Venus is Amatya Karak and provided, I forgot to say, Venus is uh, well placed, not that it is just Amatya Karak. You know? And then you suggest the person to go into, if he's in IT, you suggest him that you can be in front end web development or something like that. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to check first of all if Venus is well placed. Well placed does not mean it has to be exalted always or it has to be in Libra or Taurus. But um, if it is at least decent enough, it is well placed, then you can we can suggest that, uh, okay, you could try this as a career option because uh, instead of moving out from IT and going into the zone of Venus, where, uh, where, where if in IT, suppose you have already spent five years, 10 years of your life, so then it doesn't make sense to again you know shift and directly go to venus so you can do that inside here also inside it also so that because then what happened the person is satisfying what vimshotri wants vimshotri wants that okay stay in third house don't go <laughs> don't go to the fifth house stay in the third house stay in it but then at a soul level, the person is very much evolved when it comes to profession to make things look and feel and feel better. So then very good. You can combine both both of the two things and you can do. So that, that sol solves the problem. And then there is no confusion. You know exactly what I should do, when I should do and what I should not do also. And therefore I have seen, uh, especially uh, if, if Jupiter is Atma Karaka, I have seen this. Then naturally I have seen if Jupiter is well placed, then I have seen the person are, the people are generally very forgiving. I have seen. And then you may be wondering, this person is Aries ascendant. And how in the universe is this person forgiving somebody? That's the last thing an Aries ascendant would like to do. But now what is happening? The Atma Karak is Jupiter, which is well placed maybe in his chart. So because of that, is the Atma Karak has now, uh, it, it's like saying not overpowered exactly, but the Atma Karak has become more prominent. And it also depends on uh, to what extent the person is spiritually elevated. Or at least he's trying to elevate himself. So suppose somebody is totally materialistic. <laughs> no inquisitiveness about uh, spiritual matters then uh, there is not much use of uh, seeing the Jaimini card. Or if the person is only wanting gross material stuff, even then I have seen. Because then the person, uh, then we just use Vimshottari. So then, so ultimately it depends on who the person is and what he or she wants. Because there is a thin line always. So that thin line is like, okay, you want this, but I think you should do this. <laughs> but can you do what you should do or you will be better off doing what you can do or what you want to do. So, uh, so then that thin line is there. You know, and as, as an astrologer, if somebody is consulting, then they have to find that balance that, okay, this person wants this, but I think if he does this, his life will be better. But then does the, uh, like the Dasha Lord allow you to do those things? Uh, which now, Dasha Lord? Now, suppose, uh, whatever. Say, suppose a person, he wants to be spiritual. He wants to do religious things. He wants yeah. to do mantra job. He wants to take care of the gods and whatever. Hmm. But 
say suppose uh, the dasha now is running of the second house hmm the dasha of the second house is running oh you mean uh, chara dasha of the second uh, not chara dasha i'm talking about the vimshotri dasha whatever okay. dasha you consider of the second okay. house okay of okay. wealth yes. and then uh, uh, the second lord also is aspecting the second house in some way hmm. and the, even we have the dasha of that thing yes so so will the person be able to do spiritualism mm, i don't uh, know so uh, the thing is vimshotri will tell you what you are doing physically always so if the as you said second house in context of career or money if you say well, then yeah. then uh, somehow the person has to devote a lot of time to that he has to end up devoting a major portion of his life uh, of the day sorry not the not not the like the that till that time that dasha is running but now suppose in chara dasha something else is getting activated you know maybe the chara dasha of his ninth house has started or the sign where the uh, ninth lord is sitting that has started then what will happen is although he is spending you know 12 hours in the office but uh, whenever he gets free time you know he will be <laughs> searching something in youtube you know so, so listening to some guru or you know, listening to some spiritual personality because that is like his his inclination is going that side but because his vimshotri is pulling him in the direction of career then he is doing that also and now there now suppose somehow there is harmony i have seen so suppose uh, like in your case uh, like uh, let's take your example or let, let's take another example sometimes i have seen if the ninth lord and the 10th lord you know in anybody's chart is either uh, in trines to each other or even in kendra also to each other okay not to not in the kendra or trines in each other's trines or kendra then if this situation arises that dimshotri is saying 10th house and the charadasha of the ninth house or the ninth lord wherever that is sitting is getting activated then there is no task actually mm. then the person in the morning will do his mantras very peacefully yeah, yeah, and then he will go to the work. office and then he will come back but now suppose the ninth lord is badly placed from the 10th house or for the 10th or from the 10th lord then there is this task then it's like saying um, so the ninth lord physically can show uh, the circumstances which you get to practice spirituality i have always seen so if the ninth lord or the ninth house in the rashi chart as per uh, the rashi chart does not agree properly to certain events which means if the ninth lord is badly placed from the lords of certain houses then what happens i have seen when you go to that particular place which that lord represents from which the ninth lord is badly placed you do not get a uh, option to do spirituality there so like one of my friend uh, he is a very good friend of mine he is uh, his ninth lord is in the ninth house from the 10th lord <laughs> so it's like a perfect trine you know ninth house from the 10th lord so then what happens i don't know it's very surprising <laughs> wherever he goes to whichever company wherever he always find goes and meet some colleagues you know who are into some meditation or some you know mantras or they are hearing going to some satsang program or something and like it's like is done the office work is over and then during lunch he is coming and discussing oh you know which mantras you do actually i am in the third level of this gurus this course and what about you you are in ashtang yoga this happened that happened so now because the ninth lord is well placed from the 10th lord so wherever he goes in this entire bhumandal <laughs> he, he for work especially he will always get opportunity and another uh, another person i know in a tv channel he's there he 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 also has this kind of placements and what he told me i was shocked <laughs> he said <laughs> because 10th lord can not only show your career it, it can show the boss also so you know he, he all types of yes 
So he told me that from the time he started his work, somehow all the bosses that he has faced, they are all somehow very much attached to Krishna and Vrindavan and Mathura. Somehow. So now what happens whenever any work related to that area is there, the boss will call him and say, you go there. <laughs> and he absolutely loves to go. So that is like a harmony. You know? And if the Chaladasa is also good, then then the person will really enjoy that actually. But suppose the Chaladasa is running off the eighth house sometimes. You know? Then you don't like to do spiritual practices. Neither you like to go to these, you know, the holy places because it is you know twelve from the ninth. So then, what will happen? You will officially keep going like this. Yeah, I went to to Mathura. I went to Banaras. I went to you know Ayodhya. I I went to these places. But uh, as they say in Hindi, na apka chit kahi aur hai. <laughs> uh, exactly. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah, that, that is why we have to uh, try to see exactly where the problem is coming. And that is why I have seen if if Jupiter or Moon is well placed in the person's chart, then the person does not need a consultation, I have seen. Because then uh, the person can exactly tell you what the problem he is facing. But if these two are badly afflicted, <laughs> my God. <laughs> You you have I have had it talking to them. What about this? No, I think I don't like this. What about this? No, this is not good. What about that? I think I am I am not good at this. What about that? No, no, I I don't think I am good at that. Also, then what? It's like <laughs> it's like total confusion. So so when when the person is only not uh, aware of what to do. So the problem is people think that, okay, I am confused. I will go and throw all my confusion to the astrologer and he will uh, resolve my confusion. But that doesn't happen 99% of the time because, for example, as you said, second house. Now, second house has million significations. <laughs> we know only one or two, you know, that's why we think the second house is the house of money or you know, whatever it is. But now third house, third house can mean somebody's printing papers. Somebody is, you know, writing programs. Somebody is managing programming company. Somebody is a CEO. It can mean anything. You know. Third house can go from any ex from humble beginnings to anywhere actually. So uh, then the person has to kind of uh, tell you to understand how his third house is functioning, and that that that's what the duty of the person is to give the exact information so that as an astrologer you know. Okay, so in his horoscope, Mercury in third house is behaving like this. And in her horoscope, maybe Sun in third house is behaving like this. And then you uh, see what Vimshotri is telling. Vimshotri will tell you the physical circumstances. And Charadasha will tell you at a soul level how much enthusiastic you are. And for Charadasha, as I said in the beginning, Jupiter's placement is very important. Because Jupiter is ultimately Jeev Karak. He is the significator of the soul, finally. It's not sun, actually. At a final level, he is the significator. Because he is the connection that you have to the divine. So therefore, if Jupiter is well placed, the person is more eager to accept the results of Charadasa. 